Rushmore by Alfred Reed was commissioned to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Rushmore Music Camp. First performed in 1980 on this very stage, this selection combines a little of America the Beautiful into a wonderful tribute to this site and a local camp that was started over 50 years ago. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt, leaders of character, shapers of a nation. Each is best defined by his own words. George Washington, father of our nation, leader of the Continental Army, and the first president of these United States. In his farewell address, he spoke, citizens, by birth or choice of a common country, that country has a right to concentrate your affections. The name of American, which belongs to you in your national capacity, must always exalt the just pride of patriotism, more than any appellation derived from local discriminations. You have in common cause fought and triumphed together. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of our country, a planter, a philosopher, and author of the Declaration of Independence. He wrote, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Abraham Lincoln, America's 16th president, the great emancipator and protector of the Union. In his great speech, four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. In his second inaugural address, Lincoln closed with, with malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. Theodore Roosevelt, 27th President of the United States, the man of the bully pulpit, the leader at San Juan Hill spoke of his two predecessors. We of the United States have passed most of our years of national life in peace. We honor the architects of our wonderful material prosperity. The Americans who stand highest on the list of the world's worthies are Washington, who fought to found the country which he afterward governed, and Lincoln, who saved it through the blood of the best and the bravest in the land. Washington, the soldier and statesman, the man of the cool head, dauntless heart and iron will, the greatest of the good men, and the best of the great men. And Lincoln, sad, patient, kindly Lincoln, who for four years toiled and suffered for the people. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt. They are Rushmore. 